my brick, uh, I've got all the other objects in the scene hidden away, and I'm going to create a, a brick wall out of a cloner. Um, so let's get this underway. MoGraph cloner. So all I need to do to make a cloned object is to drag and drop that object into the cloner. And uh, I'm going to rename my cloner. This is cloner bricks. Now the default type of clone object is what's called a linear array. It's just a bunch of um, clones in a row. And the default is to offset them in the y-axis. There they all are there. We don't want a line of these. We want uh, an interlocking wall of them. Now there's a, a new function in this version of Cinema 4D. If we select our cloner and go to the mode, which is in the object tab at the very top. At the moment, we've got a linear bunch of clones or just a line of clones. We want to change this to what's called a honeycomb array. A honeycomb array creates an offset array of clones. Now, this is, this is exactly what we want. But uh, obviously, we need to change the settings on this. Um, before I go any further, I want to just check that my Lego brick is the right size in relation to my logo. So in my Layers menu, I'm just going to unhide my logo by hitting the V for visibility. And I can see there's my logo. My bricks are huge. They're way bigger than I want. So I'm going to use my cloner just to make them all smaller. Okay, I'm going to select my, my brick cloner. And in the Transform tab, I can actually um, adjust the position, scale, and rotation of my clone. All I'm going to do here is change the scale value, and I'm going to shrink it down in all axes. I'm going to make it maybe 0.2. I'm just guessing here. I've made mine, I've scaled mine by 0.2 in all the axes under my cloner's Transform tab. So any object that you put into a cloner, not only can you use things like plane effectors and random effectors, but you can also use the cloner just to resize that clone. So that's what this transform tab is for. So now my cloned bricks are the right size. I'm just going to hide that logo again. And I'm going to go back to the cloner and start to set up this, um, this wall kind of effect. So in the cloner, I'm going to go back to the object tab. And what I want to do is change the size and width and height of this array of, um, of cloned objects. So if I click and drag on those values, I can start to resize those, uh, those bricks in that wall. And I'm just going to zoom in a little closer. And I'm going to get quite close to a couple of bricks. And I'm going to adjust the width until they look like they're just touching and not overlapping. In my case, it's about 32 centimeters. Yours might be different if you've scaled your bricks to a different size. So my bricks are just touching from side to side. Now in that cloner, under my object tab, I can change the height as well. And I can adjust that until my bricks are just, just off touching. So I've made a brick wall there. So that's a really useful function of a cloner, is it can make what's called a honeycomb array, or an array of clones that are actually offset against each other. Brilliant. Okay, all we need to do now, in terms of animation for this wall, is to have the wall assemble. So I'm going to do that with two effectors. I'm going to use a plane effector just to move them into place. And I'm going to use another random effector to jumble up their position and rotation a little bit so they don't all come in uniformly, but there's a bit of variation.